determine n if 2n c3 is to n c2 is equal to 12 is to 1. Let us see the solution for this problem. Here we are given that 2n c3 is to n c2 is equal to 12 is to 1. Well, this can also be written as 2n c3 over n c2 is equal to 12 over 1. And now the numerator on the left hand side can also be written as 2n factorial over 2n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. This is by the relation n c r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial into r factorial. Also the denominator can be written as n factorial over n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. This is equal to 12 upon 1. Well, the left hand side can also be written as 2n factorial over 2n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial into n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial over n factorial is equal to 12 upon 1. And now this can also be written as well 2n factorial can be written as 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3 factorial over keeping the denominator as such we have 2n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial into n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial over n factorial can also be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial and this is equal to 12 upon 1. Here we can cancel 2n minus 3 factorial from the numerator and denominator. Also we can cancel n minus 2 factorial. So we are left with 2n into 2n minus 1 into taking 2 common here we have n minus 1 over 3 factorial into 2 factorial over n into n minus 1 is equal to 12 upon 1. Again we can cancel n minus 1 from the numerator and denominator. Also we can cancel n. So we are left with 2 into 2 that is 4 into 2n minus 1 into 2 factorial over 3 factorial can be written as 3 into 2 factorial is equal to 12 upon 1 and here we can cancel 2 factorial. So we have 4 into 2n that is 8n minus 4 ones of 4 upon 3 is equal to 12. This is equal to 8n minus 4 is equal to 12 threes are 36. This gives us 8n is equal to 36 plus 4 or we can say that 8n is equal to 40. This gives us n is equal to 40 over 8 that is 5. Here we have n is equal to 5. Hence the value of n is equal to 5 for the first section. Let us now move on to the second section. In the second section we are given that 2n c3 is to n c3 is equal to 11 is to 1 and we are required to find the value of n. Well the left hand side can also be written as 2n c3 over n c3 is equal to 11 over 1. And now we can write 2n c3 as 2n factorial over 2n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial again by the relation n c r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial into r factorial. Also the denominator n c3 can be written as n factorial over n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial is equal to 11 upon 1. The left hand side can also be written as 2n factorial over 2n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial into n minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial over n factorial is equal to 11 upon 1. Here we can cancel 3 factorial from the numerator and denominator and we can write the left hand side as 2n factorial into n minus 3 factorial over 2n minus 3 factorial 
into n factorial is equal to 11 upon 1. Well, 2n factorial can also be written as 2n into 2n minus 1 into 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3 factorial and keeping n minus 3 factorial as such over 2n minus 3 factorial into n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 factorial is equal to 11 upon 1. Here we can cancel n minus 3 factorial also we can cancel 2n minus 3 factorial so we have 2n into 2n minus 1 taking 2 common here we have 2 into n minus 1 over n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 is equal to 11 upon 1 again we can cancel n minus 1 so we have 2 into 2 that is 4n into 2n minus 1 upon n into n minus 2 is equal to 11 upon 1 here again we can cancel n so we have 4 into 2 and that is 8n minus 4 ones are 4 is equal to 11 into n is 11n minus 11 into 2 is 22 this gives us bringing 11n on the left hand side we'll have 8n minus 11n and taking minus 4 on the right hand side we'll have minus 22 plus 4 this implies that 8n minus 11n is minus 3n is equal to minus 22 plus 4 is minus 18 again cancelling negative sign on both the sides we have n is equal to 18 upon 3 that is n is equal to 6 hence the value of n is equal to 6 for the second section so this completes our solution let us see the next problem